Steve Bannon reacting to Mike Pence. Um, this is going to be a little bit of a of a little battle uh, between the Trumpites and the theocrats. Um, and I don't know what will come of it, but it can only be good for America. Unless, of course, they both win, <laughs> which <laughs> happened last time. Uh, here is uh, Steve Bannon. This week, the President Trump said I had the right to overturn the election. But President Trump is wrong. I had no right to overturn the election. The presidency belongs to the American people and the American people alone. And frankly, there is no idea more un-American than the notion that any one person could choose the American president. <laughs> wow. That's not what President Trump... What President Trump uh, said is you had the full right to revert back to the states like Jake Corman in Pennsylvania, great in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, President Pro Tem, sent you a letter and requested that you send it back to the state legislatures so they could review the process of how they certified the Biden electors. Pence, you're gonna cu you're gonna carry this thing uh, eventually to your grave, okay? Because it is a mark of shame, and you are a stone cold coward. A stone cold coward. Boris Epstein. We're going to start with numbers. Oh my God. <laughs> when did Bannon get so uh, God squatty? He's got those pictures of Jesus behind him. He has his own quote behind him. Can we pull that up just to still? Was that his own quote? Oh, yeah. It's by Stephen K. Bannon. I mean, honestly, like, you have your own name behind up. you, but it's not. It's, it's having your own quote's a whole different level. You mentioned uh, Boris Epstein. There are no conspiracies, but there are no coincidences. And then in a... That's a that's, useless phrase. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it's, it, it, is it supposed to be sarcastic? If you, if you flip it over, it says, everything is nothing. Uh, we can do hard things, yes. Silly. Um, Boris Epstein, who he mentioned... Um, I always like to look up how Boris is doing. He used to be at uh, that Sinclair thing. Sinclair, yep. right? Thing. Um, he, uh, he's currently posted on YouTube. He posted a video 12 days ago, so he's still with his YouTube channel. Uh, six, uh, 86 videos and uh, total subscribers uh, 67. I don't know. I don't know how he, a guy that does as much media as Boris does just oh, yeah. gets absolutely zero play. But it's funny. Well, One of the few Trumpers I've met in my life. I met him. You met him? Yeah, I met him at the uh, the debate. Uh, is media creature very much so wanted to be at the center of all of all of the uh what do you call that that like the pit where there's a the bunch scrum. of yeah yeah he uh, was he ver very available yes yeah, somebody uh, said they went to college with him and he was very popular which was um, disappointing to hear bannon is um basically saying that 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 i mean that on some level like pence is like the devil right i mean he's gotten like a mark what's going on stone cold coward <laughs> I mean that, but that is how the the Trumpers are going to respond to that. It, like he he has no. This is the only way. This is the only path that Pence can go down, and he did so very unwillingly because he. I, I think even he understands well, like this is it for him with that base. He's getting in the way of their, you know, future election stealing <laughs> plans because that's how they're going to do it again. Right. right. So he's they, already they he's protect. already on the um, on the record is saying that that was illegitimate. But they're going to come up with a different way. What's fascinating is. You see Steve Bannon say th that uh, Mike Pence is a coward to do this. Mike Pence, of course, he's not taking any type of principled position here. Uh, if he had, it wouldn't have taken him a year to realize, like, Donald Trump seems to be saying I have the ability to change the election outcome. <laughs> it took me a year. I hadn't heard about that before. 13 months later. Um, no, he's done some polling that shows that he has no chance of getting those people back.